everybody, it's me, Stacy, here at Scrapbooking Made Simple with our next YouTube mini class. Woo! I do my arms up here, but you can't see them, so I have to remember to do them. Woo! Jazz hands. <laughs> it's been a long day already. <laughs> I have to tell you, it's after 2 o'clock now here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, and normally I do these YouTubes bright and early in the morning, but this is the YouTube that has just... I think I can, I think I can, but so far I can't. <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> we have some wonderful product for you today, but I wasn't even sure if we were going to have the product, and that took a little bit of work yesterday and this morning dealing with uh, overseas in the UK because that's where these stamp sets that I'm showing you are coming out of. They're coming from the UK, and I want to let you know I bought each and every last one of them. <laughs> so I hope you like them as much as I did. <laughs> We have got Flower Soft for you. We have got stamps by Flower Soft. We've got card toppers by Flower Soft. I, I love every element of this YouTube, and I'm going to do my very best to shamelessly <laughs> talk Katie Sue into not discontinuing these stamp sets. So if they're watching, <laughs> that's plug number one. Please don't discontinue the stamp sets. <laughs> Now, update on the Sizzix warehouse sale in the shop that didn't hop. All orders have been printed. Uh, the inventory from downstairs from the store that didn't sell has been moved back upstairs. It has been inventoried. It has been um, put in numerical order, uh, which was a lot of work. And uh, like I said, all the inventory has been done. So we now know exactly what we need to fill your orders. And that has already been sent off to Sizzix. They are bundling and packing as fast as they can. They're estimating a couple pallets at least um, to ship to us. And once that comes in, we will then merge that with what's here and start processing your orders. As an FYI, just as a gauge, we are somewhere between three and four weeks ahead of where we were last year. So I'm really proud of the SMS girls and boys who have really worked their behinds off to get that product done. And a big thank you to Elena because she really headed up getting all of that inventory back upstairs and in a organized fashion. So Elena, good job, well done. Now Elena, three pallets more coming your way. <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs> All right, we have winner, winner, chicken dinner from our last YouTube, which was the Irresistibles by Sukaniko and Just Right stamps and something tattered stamps. And do you want to hear if you won? Well, if you're Teresa Mays or Nicole B T R E R Pecan Pecan Two at AOL.com. So Nicole B T E R Pecan or pecan2 at AOL.com. You and Teresa Mays, you both have won, congratulations! You're gonna get some wonderful product from the last YouTube and I hope you love it all because those Irresistibles are completely cool. They just are amazing. I don't think there's anything like them out on the market and too much fun. How are you girls gonna collect your prizes? You are gonna email us at asksms at earthlink.net. Say, hey, Naomi, I'm a winner. And give her your name, your address, your telephone number. Tell her it's from YouTube 104 and we will get those prizes out to you just as quickly as promised. Now, who wants Katie Sue to discontinue these stamp sets? No! That's plug two. <laughs> I only have about a hundred of each set, so I want to make sure we get more. <laughs> All right, we're going to get started for today. Like I said, we've got Katie Sue and Flower Soft, and then I have got a really wonderful offer from the paper company who we have all of our samples um, were made by. Yvette made all the samples using a company called Chicken Nitty and they have given us a tremendous offer to offer to you. So I'm very pleased and proud to be able to tell you about that a little later on too. All right, are we ready to tilt on down and get started for today? I think so. Now remember, if there's anything you love from this YouTube, go order it now. I don't know how much we're gonna have over the quantities we, we already know we have coming in. Some of the things are very, very limited. Like I said, 100 or under. If it's on back order, put your order through, put it through. If we for some reason can't fill it, we won't charge you, truly, promise. We don't charge you until we start to process your order. But a lot of times, 
things happen and people have to cancel their orders or there's a payment issue or whatever and that product becomes available and if you canceled your order your order might have been the one that could have been filled with it so if you love it go order it and just like we're trying now in about a week after the end of this YouTube yummy sale we will start processing these orders. So if you're an irresistible customer, if you placed an order from last YouTube Yummy, chances are your orders already started to be processed or is in line to be processed. You'll be getting a credit card receipt sometime soon because we are picking, packing, and shipping. Woohoo! All right, I'm going to tilt on down for today and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye! All right, what do we have for you today? We have stamps by Flower Soft. And I know when you think of Flower Soft, you really think more of this is a type of product, but they do have some beautiful stamp sets, and I love this stamp set. It comes actually circles and squares, and what they've done is they've taken a circle stamp right here. It is a three quarters of a circle, and this one happens to say, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you, and this one says, happy birthday, happy birthday. You stamp that, and then they also give you three separate florals to stamp in there with it to finish the stamp. To finish the entire circle. I know it was a little confusing to me at first too, but then I ordered them in and I saw them and I said, oh, this is just awesome. I just love it. So this is what the actual stamp set looks like. And you can see this one's still in here. This is one of the semicircle stamps. And then I could take any one of the three florals that it comes with, put it in there to finish out the entire circle. And the sentiments are nice. This one's happy birthday. This one, like I said, if friends were flowers, I would pick you and it goes around. And there's, they're just, they're really good everyday type of stamps, but with a unique, a very unique twist to them. So plug number three, please don't discontinue these stamp sets. <laughs> Scrapbooking Made Simple really likes them. And YouTube's live forever, Katie Sue. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my Tim Holtz grid block, which is what I've got right here. It's a little dirty, but that's okay. You know I like the grid blocks because you buy one set of them, you get eight or nine blocks. They come in sizes from teeny tiny to much bigger than this. You never have to buy a block again. All your clear stamps will cling to it. All your cling stamps will cling to it. And because they're thin and not that thick acrylic, you can actually feel what you're doing. And I like that. I like being able to have that availability to feel how much pressure I'm putting on my stamp and making sure that I've got really great contact. So first things first, when you take your stamp off your little off your little sheet for the very first time, know that you're going to need to clean it. And whether you use Palmolive or Dawn or baby wipes, you need to really clean it because there tends to be a little bit of a residue on the clear stamps when you pull them off the sheet. Um, or you can be like me and I put them straight to my block and I take my black ink and I'll just keep stamping and re-inking and stamping and re-inking until the residue is gone and my stamp comes out perfect. Up to you either way. But you don't have to use a stamp cleaner if you don't want to. Pomolive, Dawn, any kind of mild dishwashing detergent will do a very nice job. Now, once you've got it off the block, you're just going to lay it or off your sheet. You're going to lay it right on your block. You're not going to kind of tweak it to make it do what you want it to do. You're going to let it do what it wants to do because it knows the size it's supposed to be. If you try to make it a perfect little circle, your extra piece that fits in there isn't going to fit. And if you try to open it up too much, same thing, your extra little piece isn't going to fit. The stamp knows what it's supposed to do, so let it do its own thing. Just put it right down on there and then press it down so it clings. It knows to do its own thing. Then I am going to take one of my florals and again they give you three different ones to stamp with per set so you could use the flowers just on their own and I'm going to kind of line it on up so that it will fill out the rest of my circle see that I'm just gonna line it on up so it fills out the rest of my circle now if my circle um, was too big it wouldn't fit at the same time, you don't want your floral way up here. 
Can you see how much space is in between? You don't want that and you don't want it way down in here because now it's overlapping. You just want to line it right up and in you go and there, perfect, ready to stamp. Are we ready to go? I'm using my Memento ink today because of course Memento is our most favorite ink. It is a dye-based ink. It is an all-purpose ink. If you need an everyday ink, this is it. Memento comes in I think 36 colors. It has re-inkers. It has markers which you would use as an oops pin. So if you made a little mistake you could just go back in there with the Memento marker and fix it as opposed to restamping everything. But we love Memento. It's made by Sukaniko Imagine Crafts and it even has little dewdrop sizes so it covers everything. We recommend that you get the full size pads in the colors you use most. So if that's black or brown or red or blue and then the little dewdrop sizes because they're only I want to say two dollars and ten cents on the colors you like but aren't your go-to colors. That way you have them but you haven't spent a fortune. So I am going to ink up my stamp and I ink like this. I don't ink like this. I go this way and that way I'm sure not to get it on my hands and I don't rock my block or I don't rock my ink pad. I'm sure everything is nice and good and that's more than enough ink. I'm going to grab my paper and I'm using my Smooth and Silky by Whirlwind. My white Smooth and Silky because it is completely flat. I'm going to lay this down and then I'm going to give a good press. Now what am I pressing into? I'm pressing into a gush pad. This is what we call a gush pad or a stamp pad. And they're really important because if you try to stamp on a solid surface, you're not letting your stamp and your paper sink in into anything. So you're not getting as strong of a contact as you would as if you have it to gush into, to sink into. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. And there we go. There's our stamped image. So pretty. So easy to do. I've got a couple over here. I've got this one right here. I would let this dry for just a second. Doesn't take long. It's a dye based ink. So just a second to dry. But I'm going to go ahead and color this one. Can you see the happy birthday going all the way around? And the floral. And again, they give you three different flowers that I could have put in there. Three different sets that I could have put in there. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to color this. And the coloring is very simple. It's not to be exact. I don't want you to think that you have to sit there and be exact in your coloring. I don't want you to be. Where you see a little, a little leaf, you color a little leaf. If you go outside the lines, that's okay. You're not trying to be exact. Where you see the little lines for the leaves. I'm just going to kind of go on the little lines and just fill them in. Now I'm using my brushable markers and I like the brushables because the colors are wonderful. But most important, the brushables have two colors per marker and both sides have a brush tip. That means that you can color with both sides two different colors with a beautiful brush tip as opposed to that bullet point tip which is very hard to color with. Here I just am going right in coloring away and I'm not being exact and I'm not worrying necessarily where the lines are. If I go outside the line a little bit that's okay. I just want to add my color. So I've got my green in there. Now I'm going to grab one of my other brushables and I think I'm going to use a yellow and you can see light or darker yellow, lighter yellow, darker yellow, lighter yellow. So you really get value for your money because you're getting two colors both with a brush tip for basically the price of one pen. And for those of us who need to stretch our budget a little ways, the brushables by Zig, it's a Kurataki product, it's Zig markers. We all know how wonderful Zig is just go in there and give a color. And then if I wanted, I could take my darker and just add a little bit right on top. 
of my lighter. Go in there, oh, let's color this one. I can just go in there and color all I want. And how about the light purple? Let's do some in light purple. And I'm not being exact. Don't sit there and think you have to stay. Oh my gosh, I went out of the lines. That's okay. You're just trying to add a little bit of color. And I think last but not least, I will do, oh, well, let's do the coral. Add a little bit of coral in there just for a pop. And then if I wanted, I could take a little bit of that red and just run some of that red just right around that coral. So I'm coloring very fast, very simple to do, very easy, beautiful results. But now I want to take it a little bit further and that's where the Flower Soft comes in. So let me talk to you just a hair bit about Flower Soft. First off, yes, you absolutely want to buy the Flower Soft glue. Why? Because you want this nib. This nib is very, 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 very fine. And you need that fine nib for the glue so that you get a very detailed, precise placement when you add your glue to your project. Do you ever need to buy the bottle of glue again? No. Why? Because when you go to refill it, it's Aileen's tacky glue. <laughs> Take your 40% off coupon down to Joann's or Michael's or wherever it is. Buy yourself a big old bottle of Aileen's tacky glue and refill your bottle. You're buying it once to get this beautiful, nice nib, which of course you can use for many other things when you need a very fine detailed nib for your adhesive. Do you want to put a pin in it when you're done using it? Yes, you do, because you don't want it to clog. But the most important thing about that pin is it needs to be a non-rusting pin. Go to Beverly's, go to Joann's, wherever it is, Hobby Lobby, and get straight pins that say non-rusting. If you put a standard straight pin right down in there and you leave it for a month, when you come back, this is all gonna be icky brown from it rusting. So to save your bottle, just get an inexpensive non-rusting straight pin and you will be a happy camper. Buy the bottle once, refill it with Aileen's Tacky Glue and save yourself some money. Now Flower Soft comes in jars like this. Um, I prefer to use the colors that have more than one color mixed in with it. Like this is called Daffodil but, and it's yellow, but it also has shades of white in there. So as opposed to being all yellow, it's got beautiful, um, beautiful highs and lows with the yellows mixed with the whites or um, the baby pink. No, this isn't baby pink. This is, I think this is supposed to be spring or sweet pea. Can you see all the different colors mixed in there? That lets you decorate without having to mix your own blends. So at Scrapbooking Made Simple, we really sell the colors that are pre-mixed for you as opposed to solid colors. We do sell solid colors in, let's say, the leaf green, but we also sell the color meadow, which is one of my favorites for leaves, which again, has a nice variation and you're not mixing your own colors. This feels very mossy, and when you get it, it comes very tightly packed down, and you're gonna need to take a little bit out and loosen it up, put it on a piece of paper, because you don't need very much. You could even share that with a friend if you wanted to. Go get some Tupperware, some little Tupperwares, because this is going to last you a very, very long time. Now to use it, it's very simple. You're going to take that glue, you can pull your pin out, and where you want the flower soft, you're going to add the glue. You're just gonna dab it right on. And it is a very thick glue, it's not runny, it's thicker. So don't be surprised when it's a little bit heavier than what you would expect. Now, more glue is better than less glue. The glue will dry clear, but if you don't have enough glue, your Flower Soft isn't going to stick. 
And if you can see, I'm putting the pin right back in, just like we did last week with the uh, irresistibles, putting the pin right back in. I have got some glue right on my, on my leaf green. I'm going to take my, I think it's meadow, and you can either use tweezers, it just depends upon you. And I'm, I'm, I don't have the patience, so <laughs> I'm just going to take it and kind of dump it. And can you see I'm pressing down? I'm pressing down and pressing it into that glue. Now I put down a lot because I know I'm going to dump all of it. Whatever doesn't stick is going to go right back into my pot. So I'm okay with that. Put it right back into my, you know what, I'm going to tap it off and then put it right back into my pot and it's all good. But what I've done is I've started to add texture to my stamped image. Can you see the texture? I've started to add dimension to my stamped image. It's not often you get texture and dimension at the same time but you do with the Flower Soft. And I'm going to tell you, less is more with Flower Soft. I not, would not necessarily want to go in here and Flower Soft every single flower. You want to use it as an accent. You want to use it as a little hint of, what is that? That's fabulous, as opposed to covering your entire card with it. It's it's meant to just give a little pop of something and most people have no clue how you've done it so you don't need to tell them and yes once it's dry it's dry it doesn't come off I love it now you absolutely can here here's another one that we started just with the leaves you absolutely can go in there do I have the purple did I bring purple up with me Oh, I didn't bring purple up with me. You could, if you wanted, go in and add a little bit of color to some of the, if you wanted to add a little bit of flower soft to some of the flowers. You just don't want it to be, I think maybe we'll just do a little bit on the, on the yellow. You just don't want it to be a lot. You don't want it to encompass the entire flower. You just want a little bit, just to add a little bit of dimension. And I'm telling you, I added a little bit. That's why this stuff lasts forever. Can you see how packed it is? And it does feel quite mossy. I'm just gonna tap that down. Let's see if I've got enough glue on there. Oh yeah. To where I just added just a little bit, let me move this out of the way, a little bit of yellow. Not very much, and I didn't do the whole flower. I just did a couple little leaves, petals on this side of the flower to add a little bit of dimension. And truly, it makes such a difference when you are using it. A little goes a long way. I'm not trying to cover my whole card in flower soft. I want there to be highs and lows, and if I did, every element of this card in Flower Soft, it would just look like a big bushy whatever. You'd lose all the little elements and all the little details of the stamp that make that stamp so beautiful. So when you're using your Flower Soft, remember, a less is more. <laughs> and it is just so easy to use. Now you could absolutely take your stamp, stamp it with Versamark stamp down and emboss it before you color it. Absolutely you can do that. You want to be sure you use a detailed embossing powder. It has to be detailed embossing powder or when you go to heat it all those little uh, lines that make up your happy birthday, all that script will melt into a blob and you will lose all that detail. But with a detailed embossing powder you will be fine. Stampendous makes the best detailed embossing powder that we know of. They do it in black, white, gold, silver, and we have bronze. I think we're pretty exclusive to the bronze. But if you're not into embossing, that's okay. You don't have to. You can just stamp and use that Flower Soft to add a little bit of oomph to, uh, to your card. 
Now I also recommend when you're stamping and you know that this is going to then be cut down and put onto your card, you leave a little extra room. And the reason I do that is because that's where I check and see what color I want to use before I actually start coloring in. Sometimes you're not 100% positive of what color you like. So if you've left yourself just a little bit of room so I can see my different colors before I start to color, I can decide which colors I want to work well together. I've got all of these to choose from and now that I've seen them, you know, I might go in with a little bit of yellow on the outside. And then maybe just a hint, a hint, a hint of just a little red to add a little something to it. But you want to play with your colors on the side of your paper before you start coloring on your stamp and you go, oh, <laughs> I have so done that. <laughs> oh, that's not what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> and that way you're sure. I mean, because the colored lids for any marker, sure they give you an idea, but is it exact? No. So you want to just go in there and look at your colors and be sure that that's exactly what you want before you start coloring. And if you leave yourself a little extra room, you can still trim it out and put it on your card. All right, and again, the brushables, they just having the two different colors on one pen for the same price as what's normally sold as a single marker, you're going to save quite a bit of money. There's, I think, only 24 pins, but you get 48 colors, so that's pretty awesome. Now, I want to pull over um, a card topper that I was working on. Flowersoft also makes what's called card toppers, and in the UK, that's a very well-known name, card topper, but in the US, it just means the front of a card that's already done or a front of a card that you can layer and finish pretty quickly. And they've got the beautiful Christmas ones. They do. I don't know if these have been discontinued. We have quite a few of them being shipped in, but they have three different styles of Christmas that are just gorgeous. And if you need a quick and simple Christmas card, yes, it's August and Christmas is a ways to go. But if you take a weekend and pop these out you will be so far ahead of the game and they're so quick. All I did was take the Flower Soft, which has polar white. Where did I put my polar? Oh, polar white. This is polar white Flower Soft and it feels and looks just like the other Flower Soft, only it is just that. It's pure white. Another way of adding snow. Another way of adding dimension. All I did was take the card and start layering my glue, putting my glue down towards the bottom. I did a little bit on his, I don't know if you can see it, I did a little bit on his um, suit. I did a little bit of snow around. And truly, all you have to do now is mount this to a card, stamp inside or write inside, Merry Christmas, and you are done. It is just that simple. But you've added a little something so that they realize that this was made by you, that you put it together and it's from your heart, but it didn't have to take you two hours for one card. You don't need to tell them that. <laughs> And the polar white really is just that simple to use. Again, you just take your, your pin out and get your, your uh, glue going. And because you've got that fine tip, you can put it almost anywhere you want. Let's put some in there right on his suit. Add a little more right there. I'm just making a little bit of snow. And then I'm gonna take, put my pin right back in. And remember, what did I say about what kind of pin it had to be? Non-rusting, or you're gonna come back and this whole cap is gonna be brown gunk. Take a little bit of your flower soft, of your polar white, put it right on there, and give a press. Give a press. I did a little bit of snow over here, so I'm gonna add a little bit over there and give a press. 
and then I'm just going to tap it right back into my pot. And whatever falls off is fine and whatever stays on is what you want. And I've added a little bit of snow right to his right to his little outfit and a little bit of snow around easy to use. They make this product so that a beginning crafter can use it, an intermediate crafter can use it, and an experienced crafter can use it. Kids can use this. Seniors can use this. Wouldn't this be a nice event at a senior center where the card toppers are already done and all they have to do is add a little bit of glue and a little bit of the polar white and look at what they've done to give their family. Um, it's really simple and the effect is beautiful and it's something that everybody can be successful with and that's the most important thing that everybody be successful so oh I need to put I put the wrong lid back on I'm the worst at that I put the wrong lids on every time and then I'm like who put this on it's wrong <laughs> the girls they tend to look at me and go uh-huh <laughs> So, we have done a lot today. Love the stamps. If you like the stamps, you should buy the stamps. There are two sentiment uh, sets that also go with this collection. And like I said, there was a square set. Here's the square set. Same thing, you get two squares that are almost done and then three different florals to finish filling that square in. And the sentiments on the squares are thank you, thank you, thank you, and special friend, special friend, special friend. But look at how beautiful they are. And you can use the florals just on any card. You don't have to use them with the squares. But remember, when you peel it off your, your stamp set for the first time or for any time, let that stamp do its own thing. Let it... When you put it down, don't try and tweak it to what you think it needs to be. Just lay it on there and let it do it, let it do its own thing. Let it do its own thing. There we go. And it will go to the right size that it's supposed to be. And then you just fill it in with that beautiful floral. And you're good to go. You're good to stamp. What beautiful thank you cards these would make. I uh, again you, the holidays are coming you make five of these stamp five of them and put a little bow around them and give them blank as uh after you've decorated them leave the inside blank and give them as a gift to somebody who then can they can use them for a thank you card or a birthday card what a wonderful little hostess gift or holiday gift to put together the cards the toppers are really nice there's three different sets of the Christmas and we have all three but again I'm not sure if they're going to be making more of them so if you like them get them while you can brushables are going to be around for quite some time I'm not so worried about those <laughs> as is the flower soft I think we're gonna be okay on the flower soft now I have beautiful samples to show you I do but before I do that I want to tell you that all the samples that we did were made using this paper pad from chicken nitty chicken nitty I try to say that so hard I do chicken nitty and Yvette made all the samples using the paper in this pad and again it was a challenge because we wanted beautiful floral samples but using a paper pad that you wouldn't necessarily think to use for that it didn't necessarily lend itself to that but it worked perfect and the samples are stunning and what Chicken Nitty has for you is amazing so let me show you some of the samples first This is one of those sentiments. There's two stamp sets that have sentiments on them and those are also limited to under a hundred. So they're, they're beautiful and each, each stamp set has uh, four or five different sentiments on them. And here we've stamped with the stamps that come with it and added just a hair bit of that flower soft. Not all over, just enough to add dimension and depth and texture. So there's one uh, sample. Look at how beautiful is that. Who wouldn't love to get this as a card? Isn't that gorgeous? So this time we stamped and then we used a Spellbinder die to cut around it. So it wasn't just a straight edge. Beautiful, isn't it? And again, 
the paper. Fabulous. There's the one I, well, no, this is a Friends with Flowers. So easy to do. Just so pretty. How do you like that one? I love this one. <laughs> I love the gray tones. I love it with the, the little peach and, and uh, yellow in the back. And again, just a little bit of flower soft. Not a lot. Not every flower has flower soft on it. In fact, it's really just the leaves. Really pretty. And pay attention to that doohickey because you're going to see that doohickey in just a little bit. Another one done with sentiment. How soft and beautiful in the pinks and the grays. And this time we added just a little bit of flower soft to the flowers. And we left a lot of white going on. Sometimes negative is a good thing. Oh, my light. There's another. Again, we die cut out after we've stamped it. And this is either with a Spellbinder or a Sizzix or um, it could have been a Dew Crafts, but any, any stamp that's lar or any die that's larger than your stamp will work perfect. And again, just a little bit of Flower Soft. And look at the color of the paper. It just is stunning. And again, that little doohickey, pay attention, you're going to see it. Here we have in the purples. And really, how simple can you get? It's one background paper, one matting paper, and your stamped paper. All just put right onto a, a standard A2 size card. It's fast, it's simple, and it looks great. Again, another one of the sentiment stamps. Wishing you a day of smiles and laughter. Sentiments are always hard to find. They are. Good sentiments are really nice to have. You can stamp them on the inside or on the front. And a little bit of flower soft. So here's the purple one in the circle. So just so you can see the difference, the square and the circle. Same card, same paper. Just the difference between the square and the circle. And then the one I showed you at the beginning. And again, a little doohickey there. And I think we might have done this one in the square too, but just so you can see. Now the reason why I was telling you about those doohickeys is because of the offer that we have from Chicken Nitty. I hope I say that right. What they have done is they have given us the 6x6 paper pads for $5.99, which is their normal selling price, and it has all the paper in it that we have used for the cards. But then they are giving you for free the brads that retail for $5.60. You're getting, see, remember that little daisy? There it is. You're getting that free. Compliments of Scrapbooking Made Simple and Chicken Nitty and it comes when you buy the paper pad. It's already attached, ready to go. That's like getting both of them at 50% off. Woohoo! <laughs> and there's two different collections to choose from. Both of them will come with the free brads at $5.60 for you to use. And since it's already coordinated, how fabulous is that? Thank you so, so, so much. Um, Red Chicken Nitty, that was really very thoughtful of them to allow us to make such a wonderful offer to you. So we've got that. Let me show you what we've got in the way of product. I showed you the circles. That's the stamp set for the circles. And somewhere buried underneath here is the stamp sets for the squares. So those are the two stamp sets that they come in, the squares and the circles. Oh, here's the squares. Squares and circles. These are very limited. We also have from them a few other stamp sets that are darling. We've got the shoes. Look at how cute are the shoes. Again, limited. How fun are these? Stamp sets, they're clear stamp sets just like what we were using. They'll cling to your Acrylic block, no problem, but can you imagine coloring these and using a little flower soft with them? Aren't they darling? And then we have the Christmas dress. Very, very limited. Just darling. 
and some sentiments. You're fabulous to go with the shoes because anybody wearing fabulous shoes needs to be told they're fabulous. So we've got some stamps from uh, from Flower Soft and Katie Sue. We have the Flower Soft itself that will be on sale. Again, one pot's going to go a long way. So if you want to uh, team up and share it, I would recommend that. You just got to get yourself another little Tupperware to split it because it's going to last a long time. My recommendation is to stay with the colors that have more than one color built into them. That gives you an instant um, beautiful floral look without having to mix your own colors. And that's what you'll find on our site. We really only sell the mixes unless it's the ultra fine. I am not showing you ultra fine today. This is the standard flower soft product. We use the ultra fine when we're playing with Susan's Gardens and those dyes. We have our brushables that are going to be on sale. Again, two markers for the price of one. Both of them with the brush tip, which makes them very unusual, and made by one of the best marker manufacturers around by Zig Kurataki. You can't do much better than that. So that's going to be on sale. Your Flower Soft is going to be on sale. The stamps are going to be on sale. And your paper pad with the free. Uh, the free embellishments are going to be on sale. That's all your whole YouTube yummy right here. And I hope that you enjoy it. And plug number four for Katie Sue. Please don't discontinue the stamps. I really do like them. <laughs> so I'm going to scroll on up and I'm going to say, <laughs> hey, everybody, it's me, Stacy. I hope you enjoyed what we did today. I hope you learned something new. And uh, I can't wait to see you next week. You guys have a good one. Oh, where are you going to buy all of this stuff? <laughs> Oops! <laughs> You're going to go shopping for it at www.shopatsms.com. The word shop, the word at sms.com. And we'll have all of this on a YouTube Yummy for you. It'll be right in the home page, the front page. All you have to do is click that and it'll take you right to the YouTube Yummies. It'll all be on sale for you. All right, you guys, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>